Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to episode 94, Pattern Party DSP. I'm really glad you've joined me today. It's a beautiful day here in New Jersey. Well, it was beautiful for running. Um, it's actually around freezing, but the sun's out, the blue sky, it was a really nice day to run, so I was happy about that. If any of you have been affected by the tornadoes, I hope you're all safe. And, um, yeah, that's about it for today, for what I wanted to say. Uh, oh, of course, if you spend $25 with me, I'll send you one of these packages that you can use to make the cards. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so, other than I hope you're doing okay with your Christmas cards. I know, um, I know Diana has already sent hers out. I mean, <laughs> that's just incredible to me. I thought I was doing well because usually I'm the one that's like, I think it will arrive on the 26th, maybe the 27th. So I'm feeling much better. And it's all due to you, actually, because um, doing these lives each week means I've I've had to have made the cards before I show them to you. Then I make them at the time. I send one out to one of you, but it means I was making five cards a week, which took a large chunk out of the number I needed to make. So thank you very much for getting me to do my Christmas cards. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I'm now we're going to move on to um, birthday cards because um, I don't seem to have that many of them. I, I guess that's what I send the most or perhaps, I, I don't know, but I never seem to be able to find birthday cards when I want them. So, so good morning, Barbara. Glad you're here. I'm going to turn you down and then I'll do the raffle and then I'll show you what we're going to make today. Okay. So turn you over there to look at my my inks while I pull you this way. Saves you getting the lights blinded by the lights. Uh, yep, that looks about right. So it's a bit dark. Oh, hang on, let me change my glasses so I can see what I'm actually doing. So. We've had to go back to the six-sided dice, which is a good thing, I think. Well, I think it is. Um, so we've got Linda, Barbara, Diana, Kim, and Kathy. So let's see what we get. We, of course, get the six, and we only have five people. Let's try again. Five. So that's Kathy. Just mark that. Oop. Put that over there, and we can remove this. And put it somewhere. Yeah. The floor is such a handy place to put things, isn't it? I know that they say that tidy people don't store things on the floor. I guess I'm not tidy. Okay. But well, I knew that anyway. So, well, first let me show you what I'm using. I'm using the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. This is a host-only pack. And it's a pack of 48 pieces of 12 by 12. And you get four of each pattern. So a regular DSP, you'd get 12, um, 12 pieces of paper, um, two each of six double-sided designs. Here, we're getting 12 double-sided designs and you get four of them, four of each one. So let me just show you some of, well, these are bits I've already used. So, so you've got this um, flirty flamingo, and on the other side they're all black and white. So, oh yeah, because there's four. Let me just flick through a few. So then you've got this one. Can you see these? Oh, not. Oh, there's the back, which is, and then you've got these. Um, you got this colourful bit, and here's your black and white. And it's it's a real, really amazing amount of pattern. And here's another one. I'll show, show you the back of that one. 
is a leopard skin one, I guess, in petal pink and floaty flamingo, I'm guessing. So, and then this one. This one's pretty. I haven't even used it yet, amazingly. And I like this one too, and I haven't used that one yet. So, and you got this black and white. This one I like. I, mean, I like a lot of them actually and I'm not fond of gingham so I'll be using the other side and there you go so as you can see there's a massive amount in here and 48 sheets you'd expect it would be quite expensive it's a $30 value and let me move that out of the way $30 value but it costs 18 bucks so it's a really good deal so here's what I'm going to make I'm going to use the uh, the the yellow one, uh, crushed curry. Um, then I'm actually using flirty flamingo, which is not one of my favourite colours, but I like this stripy paper. It seems like a good idea. And here's one using the black and white. So, and as this is DSP, it obviously doesn't have any uh, sentiments. So I pulled in elegantly said so I can use wishing you a wonderful birthday and shaded summer happy birthday here I'd like to tell you that I had these uh, in my head because I thought they would fit perfectly but the truth is they were still out on my desk so <laughs> I used those but I guess they were in my head too because I just used them so Okay, so let's get our package out. And get going with the first one. So this is crushed curry. Uh, yes, this is crushed curry. Which is over here. I'm going to put them upside down. Oh well. There's only three colours I'm using today, so it won't be too bad to... If I haven't put them in the right order, which I haven't. Uh, I don't use crushed curry very often. Can you tell? <laughs> right, so. That's my um, layering circles. A scalloped crushed curry and a white. And two whites, of course, just in case. Does this really fit? Yes, I guess it does. Did before. Oh, nice. Okay, that's now spare. Which is useful. So I'm going to stick this to its backing. I mean, his, it's mat, sorry. I ran hard today. I think I haven't got oxygen back to my brain yet. There are definitely days when um, I feel I can't run very fast. I mean, I'm slow anyway. But music makes such a difference. I was running to Queen's Greatest Hits today and that was making me motor along faster than usual. So, especially after yesterday's five, five miler, this is usually a slow run, but uh, the choice of Queen was, uh, was inspired. In fact, I got a bit worried after about a minute thinking, am I gonna be able to hold this pace? <laughs> but it's so beautiful out there. And yesterday was so nice. Well, it wasn't that nice. It was about 40 degrees. I was still running in shorts, which I never expected in the middle of December. But, oh, hang on before I make a mistake. Um, now, this isn't quite kosher, but I'm going to do it anyway. I haven't cleaned up my, um, my ribbon 
thing. And this is actually retired, but it looks, I, doesn't, I don't have a crushed curry, uh, a ribbon. So I'm just going to add a bit more there. And I think I want it about here. So yeah, about there. And wrap it around like uh, so. I need quite that much over. Let's just trim that down a bit. Right, now we can put this on the card. So just use whatever. I mean, this is actually um, Bumblebee, I think. Is it Bumblebee? Yes, it's Bumblebee. So it's not actually even a quite right color, but it, it works. So, as you can see, so now I need another piece. Oh. Okay. And I'm just going to, ooh, uh, slide it underneath, like so. And then, tie bow which of course is not going to play nice because I'm on camera because that always happens right you can't do it on camera there we go right, now turn it back the other way up eh. I've done better but it's not terrible I'm just shorten that a bit We'll have a nice kind of straight line uh, bow. They have minds of their own bows, I find. Put that back in the sun so you. <laughs> yes, I reckon it's a difficult time of day. You know, where do I put everything? Can you still see that? Yes, you can. So. Hey Kathleen, sorry it's really hard for me to read comments today because of the sun. So I'm going to just put that on here, like so. And there we have it, slightly different to the original, but that's not a bad thing. So I'll we'll move that out of the way and we'll move on to the next one which is Flirty Flamingo, which I do not remember the last time I used Flirty Flamingo. Don't know why, really. It's just never been one of my favorites, but it's pretty good. I particularly like it here. So I'm going to get, where's my little block? Here we go. I'm going to position this where I think I'm going to want it, about there. And then I'm going to stamp. Then it gives me the positioning for where this needs to go. So I'll get my flirty flamingo out. And we will stamp on straight on the card. And it worked out. That's a little tense, but of course, if it goes wrong, all you have to do is, well, you can do two things. You can either turn this around and make this the inside and you'll put a layer over it, or you can stamp again and cut out a die, a die cut and put it on top of that And if, if it's gone wrong. So we have options. Nobody knows what it was supposed to look like, so you can do whatever you like. So we're going to put this in place now. That's my ruler. My ruler. So I reckon about there is 
good. Right, now we have to deal with the... Uh, oh, here it is. I was like, thought I'd lost it for a minute. I should probably get my peg out. Or pin, I mean. I call it a peg. Closed pegs. And... Uh-oh. Some idiot forgot and put this one back in the... That would be me, by the way. I was clearing up this morning. I'm like, why is that out? I don't need that today. Hmm. Yes, as I said, I don't think my brain has got all its oxygen back yet. So. So, let's, let's uh, start over. Right, there we are. Now I'm going to ink this up in Versamark. And it doesn't really matter which way around it. I mean, you know, how it how it is stamped. As long as it's vaguely in the middle. That's all I need. Then here's my white. there for a second while I clean up then of course I will heat emboss it so it will get loud in a minute if, if you've got your volume up because I keep being told that I don't talk loud enough most of the time I think I can if I'm thinking about it but then I'll lapse off into not talking loud enough so turn down your volume if you've turned me up so that you don't Get your ears blasted by my heat tool. My heat tool that I've wrapped around my chair. Okay. I think it's okay. And there it goes. You know I love heat embossing. I mean, we all do, I'm sure. But I do more of it when it's Christmas. But it's, hey, it's still Christmas, so. I just realized I did it wrong. Oops. It's the wrong way around. So, let's do that again, shall we? Let's try and put it on the right piece of card. I wonder if I can use this as the backing, as the mat, I mean. I cut it wrong as well. Huh. Yes, I cut it that way. Oh well. Right, let's um let's start that over. <laughs> huh. Can't blame my brain a lack of oxygen for that one because I did this yesterday. Oh hang on, I ran yesterday too. Okay, it's lack of oxygen to the brain. Definitely. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna claim anyway. Okay. So,
Right, here we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so. Uh, what is this? This is. Um, two and five eighths by two and three quarters. Okay, hang on a minute. I'll just cut this. So that was two and five eighths. So two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So that's two and seven eighths. Right. There we are. Right. Well. I suppose normally I do um, do white or vanilla and then mat it with a colour, but uh, apparently it was uh, too different for me to uh, to get. Huh, too funny. Okay, so which way round is it? Uh, yeah, that way. There is our focal point. So now we can put it onto the card. Let's uh, pop it up with some dimensionals. What's that? Bit of fuzz. Got rid of that. So dimensionals. Um, about. There. Okay. That'd be nice and easy to rip off in a couple minutes. Let's put this piece on as well. Why not? It's handy. Um, then, uh, that. So let's see. Yep, it's good. So we now need some in the middle so it doesn't sag because we don't need that. Okay, so we'll just pull this piece off. And these pieces, the ones in the middle, they're just to uh, prevent sag. They're not needed to hold anything down. And this will go about there. It's perfect. So now we need the... These are the pastel pearls. Okay, I'll come back this way. Hopefully there's enough light that you can see because that the sun is going off that way. So now I'm going to get a few of these and just pop them on. Out my let's have a bit more of that. Okay, that is weird. It only seems to work if I push it away from me. If I pull it towards me, it's not happy. Interesting. So, um, 
Here's our second one. The right way around. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let me move that out of the way and then let me pull in the last card we're going to make today with this. Uh, this huge pack of um, patterns. I hope you can see properly. So, um, this is it. A bit more masculine. I'm using a uh, Poppy Parade here with the black and white. And let's just get going, shall we? So I'm gonna do this first. And of course, now what I'm going to be doing is trying to think what I'm going to do with this. I haven't decided yet. Can't do too many things at one time, but I'm definitely not wasting that. There we are. Now let's attach this to the card like about I think here and there we go then all we need is our sentiment so Get one of these and see how we do. I didn't even uh, have to cut these out because I had leftovers from other things where I didn't need both. So let me just clean this off with the chamois. And Oops, not going to be quite so lucky this time. A bit of a extra bit. Uh, let's clean that off. Okay. Is that a bit of fluff or something? Yes. Okay, now I've got my nail. This could be very dangerous. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's something funky going on there and I can see it on there now. Okay. Put this away before I get myself in trouble with it. And I'll get rid of that. And we'll have some more ha, dimensionals that I've tried to hide from myself. Didn't work. Um, oh, let's just put some of these on the edges and in the middle. So then we'll just take some of these off. Uh, I don't really want to take those ones off, do I? Well, it doesn't matter. And maybe these two. And that is going to fit on here. Next, I need, wow, I've got a long way down. Hmm. Oh, here they are. Oops. Yeah, I 
just throwing a few more on the floor. That's fine. Oh, I've forgotten about these ones. Let's use these. Almost finished them off. So I am going to colour some of these in Poppy Parade. That's why I chose the Poppy Parade because I have a blend in Poppy Parade so I can um, so I can match the jewels to the card. So as I think I said the other day, be careful. You just put it on the top of it. Because if you I should put them if you Scooge off the edge, you get this coloured in the blend as well, and then you get it on the card. Yeah. So just, just be cautious. And that on the top, because this stuff hasn't dried the ink around, so. There we go. So here is what we have made today. Just get rid of these. Well, partially rid of them. Somewhat on the floor. <laughs> so um, can you see all those? No, you can't. Let me move these over and so that's what we made today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. There are loads more patterns to play with. Oh, as there are 12 double-sided, there's 24 patterns. So um, I was never going to be able to cover them all in a single, uh, roughly half an hour live. So um, it's definitely worth getting that host pack of paper from the annual catalogue. Um, I highly recommend it. and. As you can see, it's easy to make some nice birthday cards. And I don't know about you, but I would think most people have kind of been focusing on Christmas cards and have run down their birthday card and thank you card stash. So now it's time to start working on getting them back together. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget, if you want to make these cards, um, place an order with me of 25 bucks and I'll send you what you need, including... Unusually, I will send you the DSP as well, so in case you don't have it. So, um, yes, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again next week. And now I'm going to go off and finish writing my Christmas cards, which I think I have a few more to do. So, but I'm hoping to be done by the end of the weekend, so it's, it's, I'm way ahead of where I usually am, so I'm really happy. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.